Hey Badgers, it's Wellness Week, and we will be heading around campus throughout the week to ask people questions for a special Hallway Holdups edition, Wellness Week. The first day of Wellness Week has begun Monday morning, and we're going to try some sound bath meditation right here at Isaac's. Ladies, how do you relieve stress? Um, I like doing yoga and like mindfulness and meditation. I like to indulge in my hobbies like drawing. And what did you think of today's sound bath meditation class? It was really peaceful. It was really stress relieving and just good energy and good connection. Abby, Abby is the teacher of sound bath meditation today. So what is sound bath meditation, Abby? Sound bath is a practice of sound healing where sacred instruments are used to create a very restorative and relaxing effect in the body. So all of these instruments here are made of crystal quartz and they have a frequency and vibration that reaches about 430 to 450 hertz and the human ear can only hear about 80 hertz. So the rest of that energy and vibration is felt throughout our body and entrains our brain waves to a state similar to REM sleep. Hello Badgers, it's day two of Wellness Week and today we are at the Sexual Health Trivia and I'm going to be going around the Union Station asking people a few questions. So, let's go. How do you think cultural and social norm impact sexual health? Um, in all honesty, I think cultural and social norm definitely um, impact sexual health in a, a positive way. There's definitely some negative takes on it, um, but I think with more culture we're able to understand what people mean by what they're saying, either through text or even in person. Um, I think that they, the whole concept of sexual health is even created by our Western like understanding of what sex is because like sex and health are not two separate things they're just synonymous to health so if you are able to have a pleasurable sex life I feel like that's contingent to like other parts of your well-being hi everyone this is Dave from Brock TV on day three of wellness week today is unwind Wednesday let's find out what that's all about so boomer what's your favorite sport to be uh cheering for I love volleyball too oh my god what? he said he loves basketball yeah 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 and uh, what's your favorite way to be um, what's your favorite dance to stay happy all the time oh my god Maria, what do you kind of do to um, increase your wellness or well-being or some things that you do to help your mental health um, I really like to read books and uh, go for walks with my dog, Millie. I have many hobbies. Um, some of you might know I'm a beatboxer. I also like playing video games on the side, so those are my main two hobbies. My favorite thing to do, I like to curl up on the couch with my dog, and I like to watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Work on my student club, Brock Winter Club. Rock Winter Club, follow it on Instagram. What's your favorite event here at the Unwind Wednesday? Well, I love that car arcade over there. Yeah, even though I lost, I love it. Yeah. Yep, it's a remote car controlled ro racetrack, right? Yes, it is. I like to paint and I like to listen to music, hang out with friends, and sleep. I love sleeping too. James, what's your favorite thing to relieve stress? Uh, Watch YouTube, Netflix. Amazing! So for the students that missed out on Wellness Week, is there any event that they should come to next time uh, Wellness Week rolls around? Um, I think you should definitely come to Unwind Wednesdays or whatever day it's on. It's happening right now. And for you? Definitely puppy yoga. Go check out all the cute puppies. Relax, stress, have some good fun. It's great.
He's a Brock TV fan, he said. How do you feel on a scale of 1 to 10 with the puppies around you? Oh my god, like, broke my scale. <laughs> Hi sir, how do you feel? How do you feel? Uh, 1 to 10 right now. Uh, 100. Uh, this is awesome. What do you like to do after a long day to sort of unwind? After a long day, I love to just sit at my piano and play beautiful classical songs or just sing karaoke. How are you doing today? 